Good morning, it is, I was gonna say it's Monday, it's not, it's a Saturday. I'm actually starting this vlog early because I finished the last one on Thursday. It was a really, really short one last week. So look at the brown roots coming through. Every time I look at this, I can actually see myself and think, oh, try and cover those up. We are, we're down, we're down south actually. We came down in the storm, we drove. It was a bit touch and go and we weren't gonna do it. And when we left, it was fine. And then on the journey, actually, to be honest, it was all fine. But in the day, we had this big storm, if you're watching, not when you're not in England, mainly down in London. We didn't really come, it was a bit, a bit windy, but nothing like the, the storm that we'd had before, which was awful. So apparently it was awful here though, like roofs were blown off, you know, lorries were turned over, it was really bad. Anyway, we made it down south and we are here now for a week. So today we are off swimming which I'm rather excited about, mainly because I'm not getting in. And my husband is off, and he's only off for today, and then he's going back tomorrow, but he is gonna go swimming. So yeah, we're gonna go to a swimming pool with some slides and stuff, so the girls are very excited. Raf doesn't really understand, he's not really been swimming that much. And head off there, so I'm quite excited for that. And then, hopefully that'll wear them out. We're gonna have a little birthday tea, because all the cousins are here, and we haven't seen them for ages, and we're gonna do a birthday tea, because we've got so many birthdays in February, March, April, and May. And that's the birthday season and yeah so we're heading out to see it so I'm gonna try and film some bits if I can when I'm out and about this week just to show you what we're up to we're in a really nice part of England it's like on the River Thames I can show you up here if we just look out the window you can see this is our little view um, I'm not sure what you can see there they're the horses over there can you see those so we're on a kind of um, sort of farm a place, it's not really a farm, it's where people keep their horses, it used to be a farm, and it used to be the farm for Clifton, so up on the hill over there, you can see in the very distance, I'm sure I'll do some better videos, there is Clifton, which basically is where I grew up, it's like a national trust house, but it's a big hotel, that sounds like I grew up in the hotel, doesn't it? No, I used to just go there to go and have picnics as a national trust member, and now, obviously I love going to Clifton, very, very occasionally we'll go for special treats but it's amazing um even walking around clifton as a national trust member is amazing and my children now get to do what i used to do which is really nice so i'm sure we'll head up there morning it's i was gonna say it's tuesday it's not it's sunday we're heading out for a walk my husband and i have escaped the mad house that's full of kids and we are heading out for a walk it's very wet and gray can you see up there this is clifton there you might be able to see the gold clock just on the top there yesterday we went swimming um and it was actually really good i did try to get my camera out and then i got a whistle uh, blown at me from the lifeguard who basically was like no photos and I was like oh yes of course no photos so I couldn't really take in but it was quite good we went to a, a we wanted to try to go to Coral Reef which is like a massive swimming pool where I kind of grew up and I loved going there as a child but it was obviously all booked so we went to Windsor Leisure Centre which I highly recommend if they're a little bit smaller like mine um, because they loved it they all went on all slides it was brilliant so today we're heading up to London and we are going to see Matilda the musical which I cannot wait to see. Uh, I haven't seen it before and the girls don't know they're going so it's very exciting. We're leaving Raf with our au pair and yeah I'm very excited to see it so hopefully I'll be able to film a bit of London later on.
Sí. We are at the Odney Club. We've just had some lunch. And Raph is loving the ducks. We're off to soft play now. Come on then, Raph, let's go. Oh, it's very windy still here. The wind is, was quite bad this morning. It's got a bit better, but it's still bad. Look, this is the Odney Club here. Good morning. I feel a bit of an idiot. I'm walking with my camera in front of me in a car park. I'm heading into Marlow today. So this is where I grew up basically. And Marlow, if you haven't been, is beautiful. It's right on the River Thames. I'm just looking at people walking towards me and then I might put the camera down. And yeah, I'll put a link to it below because it's just a really beautiful, pretty little, well, it was a town. It is a town, I suppose. And it used to have lots of independent shops, but now it's obviously all chains like everywhere else. But yeah, it's a really nice place. I'm meeting one of my oldest friends from school, who I've not seen for a while, who lives down here. Mainly, most of my friends live down here. So when I come down, I try and catch up with everybody. Um, so I'm really excited to see her. We're going to the Ivy for brunch. And then my big sister is arriving later. So I'm very excited to see her. And my other sister, so many of sisters. I think there's five of us in total. Anyway, I'll show you around. I love this flower shop, it's always got amazing um, things. Oh, this is Megan's that's opening soon. I don't really know Megan's, but it's, um, Apparently a London thing, according to my sister. But it's going to be massive because it's quite an old, big building here. So this is the main hotel. Apparently, an every man is going up there. That used to be like an old ballroom. So I'm quite excited for that. got like the usual kind of chainy shop song it used to be very independent but not anymore uh, but the river is right down here obviously it's quite a grim day so you can't really see what it looks like but I'm heading down to go to the ivy um, so I'll show you what I'm having for my brunch hopefully if I remember to get my camera out I always forget I've just been driving back and I've been listening to this po podcast. I'll put a link below because it's really good. It's all about breathing and four different types of breathing. Um, but I've just been listening to it and it was really, I, I feel quite, I don't know what the word is. I've just been doing all the four techniques as I'm sort of driving along. And yeah, it feels really good. Um, so I'll put a link below because I really like this guy, Jay Shetty. It's really cool. He does really good podcasts and interviews really cool people. So if you're looking for good podcasts, then I definitely recommend him. Hold on. <laughs> Whoa! Don't wobble off. No. You might, please don't. through it wow go up go through it mommy you need to duck 
Uh oh, Doug. Doug. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, I think this is a bit. Mmm. Mmm. Not sure we can get through here. Good morning, it is, what day is it? It is Thursday, I think, no, Wednesday, 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 and we are still here. There we go, there's the view. It's a bit better, better the weather today. Well, actually it's gone gray now, but it was really nice this morning. I tried to do a video out the window um, of the horses like running, but <laughs> I don't think you can see that. I've got on this absolutely beautiful top, which I love the colors. I'm trying to get into spring a bit more. You can hear my mum on a, on a conference call in the other room. Um, and I'm trying to get on wearing different clothes that are not sort of autumn-y. And this is a, it's actually a play suit. I'm not sure if I like the play suit version, but they do have a dress in it. So I'm quite tempted to try the dress. I stupidly left the dress at home though. But I think it's gorgeous. I don't tend to wear this kind of greeny colour at all. But it's really nice so it's from the Jezebel website I'll put a link to it below so you can find it the dress and the play suit but I'm just gonna be taking some photos now of some other dresses so I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be trying on and taking some photos of but I really like this color look at the sleeves as well and the rouge detail on the bottom it's beautiful okay let me show you what I've got hold on so here are some of the outfits I've just been trying them on and I'm going to be taking photographs of them around my sister's house um, so they're really they're all different makes so this is religion um, and here we have I think this is something else here we are Sunco which I think is what my dress is I've just put it on so I haven't checked the label uh, but I've got some beautiful spring colors as you can see this green is obviously really popular I actually really like this it's beautiful it's like a silk top I need to iron these creases out so I'm gonna go and do that now and then try these on of course I've got a big a long summer dress there which is really pretty and then this blouse so this you can get all of this off the Jezebel website but I'm gonna go and take some photos. My sister's got some really cool old windows like this around the house. Um, so I want to come and sort of pose and stand around here um, using the light as well. She's, it's very light and white, her house, because she's just done it up. So she's just deciding what colors to do. So I'm gonna be posing there um, and taking photos of these. So I better get on with it, so I've got loads to do. Uh, good afternoon, I'm having to do this town here because I'm in a car park and um, there's people in their cars <laughs> watching me and I always hate doing this. So I'm holding it down low blow, I'm not quite sure why. I am um, heading to go and meet another Instagrammer right now, a lady that does Instagram in Surrey. So because we're down south, I always want to kind of catch up with people down here and there's like a big massive blogger community down here of like bloggers that do lots of things all together and I always feel a bit out of it in Yorkshire there isn't really that at all there are a few people that do it but not many and whereas down here there really is and so there's one lovely lady uh, who I follow on here and I sort of said I'm actually coming to near where you live um, because I'm seeing my sister-in-law later so I'd love to catch up and she was like yes I'd love to so I'm a bit nervous like meeting people in real life is quite nerve-wracking but at least I know what she looks like so I'm heading in to go meet her at a really nice cafe now so I will fill you in later with how it goes this um, beauty pie um, parcel has just arrived I do have a subscription with them and I always forget to do it so I've actually done it um, I have one of those ones where I paid for the all year um, so oh it's all getting steamy <laughs> The camera's been in the car, so it's really steamy. Hold on, let me de-steam so it. In order for about, um, I think it's about seventy pounds, which is quite a lot for me to spend. But I think it added it up. If I didn't have the subscription, it would be like three hundred. Um, so I thought it was pretty good. I love the kind of discount. So it's all very bland um, packaging, and the actual products themselves look quite plain. Uh, it's still steamy up. This, <laughs> just bear with me. Um, 
so I've got this is one of my favourite products of theirs it's a, a cream stick eyeshadow it's basically just like the Bobbi Brown one I would say pretty much on a par with it it's actually really really good I need to clean this hold on it's been in the car overnight so it just is a bit steamy it's probably not very good for this is it so I've also got some lip oil uh, so two different ones a nude one and I think a pinky one um, mascara because I'm running out their mascaras weren't rated very well but I'm running out and I was just doing this order so I just added it in so we'll see what that's like I've got the triple beauty luminizing wand don't know what that's like but it had good ratings and I love a bit of luminosity um, brow pencil I'm running out I like the HD pencil normally uh, but and it's a really thin one with a thin end so I've kind of gone for a similar in this just to try it out because it's cheaper and this is a liquid liner which I'm rubbish at and it always goes up my face and into my eyes but I'm feeling like maybe I should try again I haven't done it for years so I'm going to try those and then over here I've just got this is face cream it's a new product of theirs it was new out so I thought why not give that a go because I'm running out of face cream and it's like moisturising which is what I need my skin is so dry at the moment so I'm going to try that and then this is the tinted moisturiser because I often walk around the house and I don't wear makeup um, so I thought this would just give me some sort of covering um, because sometimes I even forget to put it on when I'm going up to like, do the school run or something so at least if I have something it might look up slightly better and then last but not least let me just clean this we have the um, Beauty Pie. This is just one of their like tester palettes. Um, I was going to get some lipsticks, and actually, I thought actually I don't know what colour to get, so I thought I'd get this and I could try them. So it's a bit um, fiddly, and I'm not sure how long it will last because it's obviously little samples. I'm sure my children will steal them um, and put them around the house, but I'm going to attempt to try and see if I can find a shade that I like. So yeah, that is my Beauty Pie. Cool. Um, so I'll let you know how I get on over the next few weeks with all this but I'm quite excited makeup makes me feel really good I love makeup I love all beauty products so for me I love even this just brings me joy the fact that I've bought some new products it's like when you buy new clothes it just you know makes you feel like a new person again like when you get your hair done so yeah, anyway, that's my beauty haul. Good morning, all oh, the light is awful. Good morning, um, I've got my beauty pie makeup on. Can you see that? I've kind of overdone the eyes. I'm going out for lunch, I look like I'm going out for the night, uh, for a children's lunch. Um, so today is Thursday, half term is literally flying by, um, which is good. And um, we, so yesterday I met Sarah from Surrey um, and we went for lunch together and we ended up staying for quite a long time like longer than we were meant to both of us um just chatting and actually it probably could have stayed longer because yeah it's really fascinating when you meet other people that are kind of doing this sort of thing like one you kind of click because you're obviously trying to do the similar thing but also um it's just really nice to make friends that are in this sort of world most of my friends in the normal world don't even do any sort of social media Instagram, they don't really know what it is, or oh, YouTube, they wouldn't really go on that ever. So for me, it was really, really nice to actually um, speak to other people that understand it all. Um, so yeah, it was lovely. It was really nice. She was much taller in real life than what I was expecting. I don't, I didn't expect it to be short, but I then realised I'm always really short. I'm only five foot two, and so she was very tall and very slim. Um, so yeah it was really nice and she was kind of like sometimes when you meet people from the internet world uh, they're not what they are or what they appear on the internet um but she really was so that was really refreshing really nice um so yeah we had lunch yesterday and then we went to see my sister-in-law we all had children because they're not it's not their half term um this week it was last week so we went after they finished school so yeah we had a great day um yesterday and today is Phoebe's birthday. So she is 10 years old today. She was born at 8.30 in the morning. It was all a bit chaotic actually when she was born. I was rushed to theatre. I was going to have to have a C-section. Uh, she got stuck. Um, my, my husband looked like 
like he was about to faint which wasn't good when you see somebody medical who understands what's going on not looking good that was a bit worrying so yeah it was all very stressful when she was born I also had this weird rash I don't know if anyone's had it it's called pep whereas basically this itchy rash and until you've had the baby um, it doesn't go away so it was like this big fat itchy mess walking around trying to get this baby out and it took ages I was induced I was overdue it was yeah but the whole thing was just awful hence why I then had two c-sections for the other two because <laughs> it was very very stressful but I ended up not having a c-section with Phoebe and I had a natural birth and yeah lots of complications afterwards um but yes I am very pleased that you know that we have her and that she is very very healthy oh, I've got a child coming in I'm trying to get in I'm shut the door you okay Sweets in my room. I found you found sweets in your room. Yeah. Did it's I? These sweets. Oh well, she had those in her bag. <laughs> those are her, those are hers. That's fine. But mummy, can you eat some of them? Could you share? She's not allowed to meet them in her bed. Better just sort this out. They've got one small child down there, crying because she he doesn't have any sweets. Anyway, um, we're heading out for lunch today for her birthday. She got a Harry Potter Lego house that goes with the other two houses that she did over Christmas. I think it was quite an ordeal to get it. I left that one to my husband and he had to go on eBay because they'd run out everywhere. Else. I know where the sweet cupboard in this house is. You know where the sweet cupboard in this house is? Wow. You better go and show Raph then. Oh, not moving. Anyway, we're getting ready to go out for lunch and we are going to Bella, I want to call it Bella Pasta, but it's not Bella Pasta anymore. It's Bella Italia and I haven't been to Bella Italia probably since I was about 15 or Bella Pasta, whatever it was then. Basically, I've got a, there's the, they're doing like a half term voucher thing at the moment where kids eat for one pound. So Jamie Olives used to do this where kids would eat free in half terms and things like that. Um, and I don't know anywhere else that does it. Pizza Express used to do loads of vouchers and we always used to get that, but they don't seem to do that anymore. So anyway, I got sent this voucher from another mother at school and I was like, this sounds good. So we are heading there and Italian is Phoebe's favorite food. I'm really not sure, sure, sure what it's going to be like, but um, it's her birthday. She loves Italian. So I'm sure or hope it will be a winner. So we're all heading there. My sister's coming, my mum and dad, my au pair, um, the cousins, so we're doing that and then the weather seems to be getting much nicer here. I'll just show you out the window, can you see? Oh, it's a bit steamy. I open these really old windows. You can see out there, this is the view and this is what I keep showing you, my view here in the morning. I'm not sure what you can actually see. Um, so the River Thames just runs there it's beautiful and spring cottage is over there too um so spring cottage is um where actually i was going to say the christine keeler affair was uh, but i was gonna, I should really say that um where megan stayed before she got married so that's quite exciting i always like to look and see who's staying when we walk past not that you can really see because it's on the other side of the river but it's really pretty and it's really nice one day i'd love to stay there i think you get your own butler when you stay there um so anyway we, I'll try and do some videoing later on of um, our lunch and then if the weather stays nice hopefully we're going to head up to Clifton which is where I kind of grew up. I've told you about it before, I didn't obviously grow up there but it's National Trust and the kids love going there so we're going to head up there this afternoon hoping the weather is nice and fingers crossed we might make it to Legoland tomorrow. Phoebe loves Lego and we haven't been for years and I'm hoping that they'll be able to go on the bigger rides if there aren't that many people there. I kind of dread these things, but we're doing it for the children, aren't we? I'm quite pleased my hair is still curly from yesterday. I'm literally playing around with different products at the moment to try and keep the curls in um, with my Dyson hair dryer, because that's one of the major things about it, is how to keep the curls in. So when you join the Dyson Facebook group, you on Facebook, anyone can join it, it's like free, but um, everybody on there, the main question is, how do you keep the curls in? How do you, people recommend different products. So I've just tried a load of different products yesterday and actually I think, apart from it, it's obviously not brushed, they've kind of stayed in. I need to remember what I did. 
Good morning, it's Friday. Oh, I might just take this hair down. This is three days. Normally I have to watch it, wash it every sort of second day. Um, oh, I'm really pleased with these curls. I mean, I don't know like curls now. Once I sort it out, hopefully they will do. So today is Friday. Um, it's actually the nicest day we've had all week. So those of you that are not in the UK, we've had this big storm that's come. And it sort of has lasted over a week, especially down here. We, I think London was particularly bad and we travelled down on the Friday night, which um, it kind of had cleared up quite a bit. But this is the first sunny day we've had. So the plan was to go to Legoland. Um, anyway, long, massive story. We've decided now to go an Easter time when my sister can go with her kids too. And we actually do it properly proper day trip out with all of us so today we are going to go ape um this is the first time i've ever done it um we've done similar things like at bewilderwood in norfolk but we've never actually done anything like this growing up i'm not sure how raf's gonna get on with it the worst thing is the au pair doesn't do heights so my mum's not gonna get up there she's like 70 um so i am gonna be going up on the top um doing the climbing which i'm really not sure i'm up for anyway it's an hour and i'm hoping that it will make up for not going to live on anyway phoebe's quite excited and it's mainly for her for a little birthday treat for her birthday yesterday we just went out for lunch and it was just freezing so we came back so i'm hoping it's not going to be freezing up in the trees i've got my big coat i don't have anything practical to wear i think we have to wear wellies do you wear wellies to climb trees i don't know um, anyway, so that is what we are up to today, um, but yeah, um, I will try and take this with me, I always say that, and then it's always difficult to photograph stuff, I might tie this back actually, I'll have to wash this, tomorrow we are off on a road trip and we're going to stay with some friends that we, well, I actually know her from Instagram, um, Frilly T, Frilly Mrs, Frilly Mrs Frilly T, she's called Fran which is absolutely lovely and so we often see them when we go down to Devon anyway they don't live anywhere near Devon so on the way back up from here we're going to stop there and see them for the night um, and the kids love their kids so it can be hopefully great they can all get on and play together um, and then next week I really need to get back on my diet in half term I just don't bother doing it or don't bother thinking about what I'm eating and then by the end of it I can feel it today I can feel it. I'm feeling ooh, a bit rough. So I can't wait for next week to get back on being organised. Anyway, I will take you with me to go away. Oh my gosh, just a tip to anybody. Do not go on this thing. <sighs> I've nearly died about 10 million times. I've got Raph here with me. Oh my gosh, this is horrendous, isn't it? Look, it's all like... I don't know what I thought when I was like, yeah, I'll do it. My arms are killing, my legs are killing. My Fairfax favour coat has had better days. I can't even fit down this thing. This is just terrific. The girls are like way ahead, somewhere over I don't know nowhere. Look, it goes all the way around. Yeah, don't do it. Don't put yourself through this. <gasps> Keep going, Raph. Right, I've just been down the sit bar, nearly died. Uh, and Phoebe's about to go again. Right, go, Phoebe! Woo! Woo! Wow! Amazing. Tilly's up next. Are you ready, Tilly? Go Tilly! Woo! Wow! Good afternoon, it's Friday and we are out at Clifton. So this is the Japanese gardens um, and where I love to come and bring my children, mainly because I used to come here as a child. So you can step across here onto this little kind of pavilion thing and then go round and then there's like a bridge that goes across which I was always really scared about going on when I was a child but, and I think my children are too but it's actually quite fun. It's really beautiful here. We're going to head over to the house. The kids are in the maze behind me at the moment. Um, but it's been a beautiful day. We've been really lucky with the weather. 
This is the first nice day I think we've had of half term. I will show you the main house in a minute. I think they've got a rope because they're trying to they've blocked it off. So you normally can roll down here, then run to the end. So we're just looking out at the view. You can't really see here, can you? Shall I try and do that? So just there is where my sister and my parents live. So they live in the old like farm bit of what the people in Hifton used to use for like all their food and meat and everything so it used to all be on this farm here and then get shipped across the river here by boat and then brought up the big long walk all the way up here I'll show you down there the river view in a minute but we're just looking at the the everything around you can see it try and get it so you can see it a bit better there you are And then up here is the river walk, so you can see, and this literally goes down there to the river. That will head down towards Maidenhead that way. Um, but that's where we walk on the other side. And this is Clifton. They're obviously doing lots of work because there's lots of these little ropes everywhere where you can't go on the main bit of the grass over there. So we're all heading up here and we are going to head back around. They want ice cream, the children. I honestly don't know how they can fit it in. It's freezing as well for ice cream. People are up there having afternoon tea. It's so nice. Afternoon tea here is lovely. It's like one of those special occasion things like... If you ever get to do it, do it. And if you ever get the opportunity to stay here, do it as well. We stayed from when it was my sister's wedding and it was amazing. I would love to come back here. It's beautiful.